welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. You get the Dow Industrials up 39, NASDAQ up 4, S&Ps are down a buck and a half. Gold contract flat at 1,159 an ounce. Silver down 4 cents at $15.58 an ounce. Platinum off 8 bucks at 1,194 an ounce. Copper down 4 pennies at 2.98 a pound. Light sweet crude getting smacked around down $2.81 a barrel at 74.34. That's an ABC structure down to 70 bucks. Bonds, you have the 10 year up 4 ticks at 126.15. 30 year up 4 at 141.08. King dollar, King dollar down 131 ticks at 87.77. You have the euro up 46 at 124.84, and the yen is up 27 at 115. Excuse me, folks, 0.75. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This is going to be a battle into the close. It's going to be a beautiful thing out here, folks. So this is what you have out here. High out here generated today, 2046. Low, 2030. Right now, you're at 2035. If we go to the SPY and we take a look at the SPY, what you have with the SPY, SPY's flat. Had a high out here today of 20483, low of 20321. You've done 62 million shares. Uh, we'll see where this baby uh, can slice and dice coming into the close. I can tell you that you had all the indices in the green and in the green good by the way and then you had them all in the red uh this is going to be a battle of the bull and the bears coming into this uh close in a big way and what of course has happened each and every day is uh, the bulls have always won uh we'll see if that's the situation today what we've had thus far if we take a look at the cash the actually the future not the cash we take a look at the, the future what you've had is that uh, the first high up here was generated at 0620 this morning that high was uh, 2043 uh, you tested that high at 1050 this morning after that test you come off the high with volume on the way down we did a hundred percent move of the low of yesterday of about 2026 you get a bounce going right now, and we'll see if they can uh, get this thing up and over the 2037 mark. Right now, you're at 2034. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, when we take a look inside the Dow, it's putting strength in the Dow versus weakness in the Dow. Excuse me. The uh, Walmart uh, is the juice inside the Dow in an extreme way today. Uh, Walmart's up $3.80. You have Boeing up $3. Cisco is up uh, 59 cents. Microsoft is up 80 taken away from it, okay, some heavy oil and gas stocks taken away from it in a big way. Caterpillar is the leader, that's down 192, that's of course industrial. Chevron down 158, Exxon Mobil off 53, you get Procter & Gamble off 71. The Procter & Gamble deal, folks, okay, uh, PG, uh, Warren Buffett uh, no doubt did it again. Uh, smart deal, uh, Warren Buffett is... Uh, buying, oh well, Berkshire Hathaway uh, is buying Duracell batteries, making a swap with uh, Procter & Gamble for shares, uh, and good old Warren, he thinks everyone else uh, should pay taxes except him. Bottom line is that he's going to save a billion dollars on the deal. This is the third deal this year, uh, saving that kind of money. And the way that works, folks, is that he's had the shares for a long time. He's going to swap shares out on a tax-free exchange for the... Uh, for Duracell. That's, that's what that comes down to. NASDAQ composite. We go over to the composite. We take a look at the composite. This is what you have. Composite out here. Uh, got to a high out here at 4703. Right now you're at 4679. Uh, and we'll see whether it stays over this uh, 4678. 4678 was the high of yesterday. Uh, okay. Crude. Well, actually, let's go to gold first. We take a look at the gold market. We have a gold as this. Gold trading sideways out here today. And for gold trading sideways out here, that's a beautiful thing, folks. Why? Because when we go over to the oil market, uh, what you're going to see is this. Oil is getting sliced and diced. Um, CL, let's see, I got a chance. The CLF I'm dealing with right now, I believe. So oil market, uh, look at this. You're going to love it. Gasoline, oh, my God. Folks, gasoline, we're going to be, gasoline's going to go, we're at 198 
uh, in the wholesale market right now. That's going to 188. G gasoline, unleaded gas is going to be all about 220, 230. Uh, crude oil is down 3.76% right now. Uh, this contract is at 74.25. Monster volume. This thing is breaking, is breaking down nice. Yeah, with, on the CLF, uh, 164,000 contracts. This thing uh, is on its way down. Uh, yeah, you've broken the B point, broken it, broken it multiple times. Have the, has the juice behind the move in all of the above. Bond market. Let's go over and take a look at the bonds. What we have with bonds is this. Bond market right now, the 10-year uh, up six ticks, 954,000 contracts. Nice setup. 10-year can use more volume. Bottom line, though, what you do have is that you have the spike from last week and the 10-year at 127 flat out. That has volume. It's going to go get tested. October 15th has volume. That's where this baby wants to go. 30-year. We go take a look at the 30-year bond. What we have with the 30-year is this. 30-year. 293,000 contracts, same setup there. The last, uh, let's say, that last Friday, 142.08. That's the next level for that. Short term, longer term, you're dealing with 148, that high volume spike. And what we're actually dealing, so let's go to King Dollar. Now, King Dollar is really wild, and this is what it is. It hasn't hit the 88.88 yet. You know, and it's like, okay, man, are you, are you going to get into that level? You're not going to get into that level. Um, you know, it, it, that, that right there is a tough call. Uh, and the reason I'm saying it's a tough call is this, folks, is that when we got to that level, meaning that what, what we would have here, and this is what this is going to be really interesting, um, is that the swing high that the doll is dealing with, first you, you start out with the swing high from 05. That swing high is 92.55. Wasn't expecting to get there. Wasn't expecting really to get to the next ones, which, which was in the 08 downdraft. That was uh, 89.25 and then 89.71. We came back down in 09. You go back up in 010 at 88.80. We hit 88.31, you know, and that very well may be it. Um, we'll see how this shakes out. A lot is going to have to do, no, no doubt. This next 45 minutes is going to be dynamite. Why? Because what you have, folks, um, is that will we get a total reversal in all the indices going into the close today? Uh, what, we, what we did have, the IWM is basically showing that it can't make it up to the swing point, and it should have made it to the swing point, folks. We made it to one 18.25, but it was only 119.20. Uh, I mean, it should have been able to make it. Couldn't make it. Couldn't make it, number one. But what it did, number two, is it got to a higher high, has light of volume, given it up, and it's getting in the lower range. The SPY, same set. Well, the SPY is going to be close, but it's the same type of setup. The SPY gets 63 million shares out here. Uh, the way this is set up intraday is that where we should be closing pretty close to the lows, meaning on the SPY, uh, we're at 203.96. I expect you're going to somewhere about 203.56. You get 203.56 or lower, guess what? That, that is a sweet little reversal. Um, the, Dow, the Dow is going to be the wild one. The reason the Dow is going to be the wild one is this. The Dow is up 35 bucks. The Dow, of course, each and every day, uh, for the last past seven days, it just crawled higher and higher and higher. The Dow, the Dow itself had gotten way away from the consolidation it was in, meaning 17,139. We went to 17,612. Uh, and after a couple little buys, you get that wide price spread today, gets over it and gets over it plenty that any of the buy stops of folks that were shot got hit and then reverses. When you see setups like that, that you get up, you get over, and it stretches, and then you come back, that is problematic, total reversal. So we'll see where that shakes out. you got about 45 minutes coming into it. Uh, some of the uh, high-volume stocks in this low-volume market out here. What do we have? Let's see. Come on, baby. So you got... Uh
Walmart's a big number. Walmart is up uh, 389. You get uh, Boeing up 281. Chevron uh, is getting whacked. You stay right there. Our man, Mr. Andy Hecht, is coming up next. And then we got a special guest for you at 3.30. We've got our man, Mr. Chuck Butler uh, from Everbank. And I'm, I'm sure many of you know Chuck. Chuck is the president of Everbank World Markets. We're going to be right back.